Okay, well this is just a quick example of how to adjust your brakes. Basically, in there you can just see both pads. Now, it's the case that um, the outside pad moves and the inside pad doesn't. Now, that's actually not bad because this uh, is relatively flexible because it's such a thin little winky dinky piece of metal even though lots of wankers go on about motorcycle style discs but it's not um, and it, it's actually an interesting little system because this acts as the return spring to allow the wheel to continue turning so the wheel turns now the inside pad you actually have to adjust that by taking off these two bolts to expose it and you want to deal with it by pushing it in, by, by screwing it in. I'll cover that in a minute. But basically, you take the standard Allen key that comes with it, and it fits down in here, as described in another video. Now, by turning it, you should be able to just make out, let's see if I can get the light on this right, that that pad is then moving in or out. So you, you want it so that it's just got a little bit of clearance and you want this part to be almost fully back, right? So do not adjust the brake cables by pulling that further forwards. You want this to be in its most relaxed position and the braking force is applied by just turning that up a little tiny bit. So let's have a look at that from the side and see what we see, but basically you want to just be able to see a little bit of air in there and a little bit of light coming through from the back. I'll see if I can show that. Um, how does that work? Am I seeing? Yes, you can see light between there. Another, another little um, easy test is, well, you know you've got this one adjusted correctly on this side because it's not rubbing under normal operation. And you'll know you've got this one adjusted because you don't have to move it very far. Anyway, let's have a look from the side. Okay, so the view from the side, we've, we actually put the 2.5 millimeter um, Allen key down there and that you'll feel it bite into the adjuster that's to move this side in or out. Obviously, you'll be moving it towards there as it moves, as it wears. This again, I want to stress, you keep that as far to that side as it goes. You basically, you know, in the whole year and a half, year of using this in like over a thousand kilometers, I've never needed to change this. It just, it just sits there. Now, I actually like a little bit of slack in there because it gives me a little bit of lever take up, so I can just back that off a tiny bit. This side doesn't have any kind of a, a securing um, grub thread to prevent it from changing because actually it would actually vibrate in and make it tighter and it doesn't do that. To get to the back you actually have to undo these two bolts and then you can get to the back. Once you've done this side you pretty much know that you can adjust the back pretty simply because this side's already there, the bolts are going to uh, be back in the same place. Once you've got the whole thing adjusted from out of the factory, don't adjust these two bolts. They, they never need to be loosened. Keep an eye on them, make sure they're tight, but they actually are the adjustment for the rotational aspect of this, and also a little bit of that kind of alignment as well, because sometimes these things aren't NASA level engineered out of the shop, right? So um, you, you only use those two bolts, those two bolts, when you first get the scoot and you're aligning the caliper after you've done that, as long as they don't come out and uh, you've put some blue permatex on them, you'll never need to adjust them again. Uh, and this is just like, you know, I've spent a lot more time making and discussing this video than you actually do in real life. You just give it a tweak and there it is. So far I haven't had to adjust the back one, um, but the front a little bit. I call this the front because it's facing us and the back is on the inside of the wheel. Okay. Okay, well now that I've done the front side, 
let's actually just take my caliper off because I don't actually need to take my caliper off but um, I'll just show you how you go about adjusting the backside which is pretty simple you just undo these two guys and that gets to take the caliper off so I'll just change over to this because it's faster to work with this now don't forget always put some permatex back on these when you put it back in because otherwise it'll be falling back out again as it vibrates its little nuts off going over bumps up and down on the road right because you know the road's bumpy so now that we've got that off it's you don't need to touch any of this it's just simply a matter of lifting this up and out and you can get to the back to adjust the back which is done simply by loosening that with the 2.5 and then you can tighten up that gap in there by just tightening this the same way as you would a bolt you want it to have just enough clearance that it's just touching the inside if you go to put it back on again and it won't go back on then that usually means you've got it too tight but I'm not going to put Permatex on this right now for the sake of the video but um, basically once you've got the whole thing more or less aligned in the very first place that's all you ever need to do to this just tweak up this side and tweak up is that right there? yeah here we go and then you can screw these guys in and that's ready to rock and roll and now your brakes are adjusted and you can just give them that little bit of a quick test here if you don't like but there's no rubbing sounds there so that's all good so I'm gonna leave that there but as I said put the 2.5 down the guts there once this is all set up both the alignment this way with these bolts when you first get it you never need to touch that again always keep that over there and basically you know that's that's about as much power as I can put on it and really you know it's a pretty simple system and by the way if you haven't seen my video on putting that tube there to prevent the swing arm movement causing a rub between here and and that cable guard I've just got this bit of aquarium tube there I recommend you have a look at that video I'll put it in the comments section it's also on my blog um, but yeah that's that's it's pretty simple you know like I said I've never I almost never adjust that I didn't adjust it this time this side you adjust in and normally brake calipers have a release spring to pull the uh, pull the, the pads apart but this is a mechanical system so it doesn't need that because there's a spring here that brings that back in and the pads are released because that side is just touching this applying the brake forces the disc over like a tenth of a millimeter and then when you release this side the fact that the disc is made out of steel it just straightens back up again so that therefore releases from that side and you've got good non-rubbing clearance happy scooting oh by the way do you like do you like my new ding there <laughs>